Hello dreamers and welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Cheyenne and here we talk about Disney and books and movies and so much more because we just love too many things and don't have enough time to talk about them all. So today we are going to be doing a book tag. I've been wanting to do like a tag, like a Harry Potter tag or a Disney tag, but there's so many books that I enjoy that I decided, hey, why don't we just find an overall book tag and then I can talk about all my favorite things about books. I am a huge reader, as you can probably guess. <laughs> so here I got my questions in front of me. I found a really good book tag. It's 20 questions long. We may not hit all of them in case the video gets too long, but I'm hoping to sum up each answer as quick as I can, which is difficult because once I start talking, it's impossible to stop. So let's jump right into it. Question number one, how many books are too many for a book series? Okay, it depends if you're like dragging it out because if you get to like eight, nine, ten, so on books and it's like a really good book series, fine. But if you're like just dragging it out and it doesn't need to be that long, like you could have wrapped it up books ago, yeah, I don't like those. Number two, how do you feel about cliffhangers? <sighs> I cry usually at the end of every book that I read or tear up, or throw the book across the room, or just kind of stare at the wall for a good 20 minutes. Whether there's a cliffhanger or not, I am currently on a cliffhanger right now. I just read a series, it's called Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. I love it so much, I 100% recommend it. It's basically like the Harry Potter series, but with a dreary ending, and dreary is my favorite Harry Potter ship. <laughs> so I was so excited to read the series, except the third one doesn't come out till June something. So I'm currently on the cliffhanger and it's not fun. Like I'm, I'm dying right now. <laughs> uh, question number three, hardcover or paperback? I don't have a preference, honestly. Like I have more paperbacks than hardcovers. Um, and the paperbacks do get more destroyed, but I guess they're just easier to handle. I don't know. I don't have a preference. Favorite book. Okay, this is, you know this is like, if you're a big reader like I am, you know this is an impossible question to answer. I think I'll have to say Divergent. It's my second favorite series, and uh, the couple in that story is my OTP. <laughs> But I also really love Sun is Also a Star and Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. And obviously The Fault in Our Stars. I read that book in three hours flat. Like, no joke. Yeah, I guess the first book that I think of is either a Harry Potter book or just the Divergent series. I... Usually when someone asks me my favorite book, I just say my favorite series and then pick my favorite book from every series. Like Harry Potter, Prisoner of Azkaban. So yeah, stuff like that least favorite book <sighs> okay I don't think I have a least favorite book there hasn't been a plot that I completely dislike like I'm a, no I just I guess there's a lot of series I start but don't really finish or like read the first book and then I'm not really feeling it to like finish the series but I don't like it's not like a least favorite like I dislike you you know kind of a deal love triangles yes or no um, most of the time, yes. I have to say the least favorite one might be the Twilight one because it, the whole moral of Twilight with Bella can't living without Edward and then Jacob being aggressively in love with her, like, that whole deal just did not make me happy. But, like, Hunger Games, uh, Love Triangle. I love that one. Like, that's so good. And then, like, uh, The Shadowhunters Love Trial, so good. Uh, Love Triangle. That was more like a hexagon or, like, what's a shape with, like, nine sides on it. Um, that was really good. The Simon Jace Clary whole deal awesome. So most of the time, yes. It's kind of like my first answer where like if it's a good plot, yeah, but like if it's weird, like Twilight. Like I love Twilight, don't get me wrong, but if it's, yeah. The most recent book you couldn't finish. <laughs> uh, well, okay, I got the Hobbit slash Lord of the Rings series for Christmas and I really, I got to like chapter th four of The Hobbit and feeling it. I'm not a big fan of prequels, so that might be why I don't like The Hobbit. So I'm gonna try and finish it, but I'm busy rereading Divergent right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys have to read Divergent. It's so good. A book you're currently reading. 
divergent. Uh, I, oh my gosh, I forgot. I'm reading, well, I don't know if I'm gonna finish the series. I don't know, I started a series. It's called The Testing, it's a trilogy, and I'm like halfway through the second book. And it reminds me of Divergent slash Hunger Games slash Maze Runners so much. Question number nine, last book you recommended to someone. Okay, that must have been, I'm trying to think. Um, that must have been, <sighs> what? I don't know. I haven't like, I, everyone knows in my family knows what book I'm reading because I talk about books all the time. But I mean, I really only talk to my best friends, my two best friends about, um, about what books we're reading or usually we're reading books together. So I guess I'll probably have mentioned like, oh, oh, I know what it is. Okay, so the author who wrote carry on the carry on series rainbow rowell she also had another book called park and eleanor which was amazing and so not only did i recommend the carry on series um i also told them to read park and eleanor oldest book you've read by publication date probably a jane austen book i don't know probably a jane austen book i read pride and prejudice and i started was it Emma? Wait, no. I started another one by Jane Austen like a while ago. Um, so probably Pride and Prejudice. Newest book you've read by publication date. Okay, so I read this series called The Unwanted. Now this is one of those series that you could have wrapped up like a book or two ago. It's kind of dragging out because there's a second series to it. So the first one's called Unwanted and it has seven books in it. Really good. The second one is like 10 years later and it's called Unwanted Quests. And we're like on the fifth book of that. It's more for younger people. Like when I was 10, it was like my favorite thing to read. Um, but now reading it, it's kind of cheesy and like, really corny and stuff and so I tried to keep up with it but I didn't realize how long it had been since the last one came out and so I read the newest book uh, that came out like a couple months ago but I'm also thinking it was probably the second book of the carry on series like I literally just read that and it's fairly new so it's probably one of those two favorite author <laughs> again <laughs> um probably uh, Nicola Yoon, I love her. J.K. Rowling, of course. Veronica Roth, the author of Divergent. Cassandra Clare, author of Shadowhunters. John Green, author of Fault in Our Stars. Suzanne Collins. So probably those. Buying books or borrowing books? So because of quarantine and because my parents only let me buy so much, I am borrowing a ton of books. But I prefer buying books because I love, one, the smell of a fresh book and two, the feeling of a new book, and three, it's just easier to read. 14, a book you dislike that everyone seems to love. That's hard. And you know what? I have one. Okay, so I read this book called Love, Rosie, and there's a movie on it, and the movie kind of piqued my interest, so I found the book and I was reading it, but it's all in the format of letters. I did not like it. Like, it was fun and cute when they were kids and they were writing letters back and forth in class. But then as they're just getting older, it's just texting and I'm like, I want more character development with just the author talking about it. Like, I'm not, I didn't like it. If it was like, it started out like that and then it went into like a novel sort of a thing rather than just letters the entire book, like that was not fun. I did not like that. Bookmarks or dog ears? Okay. Um, I feel really guilty about this. I dog ear books a lot and a lot of people are like so against it and I'm just like, I'm sorry, it's just a habit. I lose bookmarks all the time and it's just easier to dog ear it. A book you can always reread, Divergent, Divergent 100% right now. <laughs> um, so I would reread it all the time and it was so cool because like rereading Divergent, it was... To start off with, reading it for the first time was incredible and it jumped right into the story and it kept you reading the whole time. And then rereading it, there was a bunch of 
details that I never noticed before. And then soon I was trying to memorize like all the chapters and which part was in which chapter. And oh my gosh, it's just... Divergent for the movies, they made the movies based off of it. But the last two were so different from the books that it's just infuriating. And the first one's probably the closest to the book, but even that, half of the stuff that happens in the book doesn't happen in there. And they added new stuff, and that just makes me so angry. It doesn't give me the same feeling. Like, I think they did a great job casting the roles and stuff, but that series is incredible. Uh, but the movies, they really screwed up. And so it's not like I can go back and enjoy the movies and be like, oh, I know there's a couple details I'm missing. Like Harry Potter, they did the movie so good. And there's a couple things you're not going to have because the books are so long. But you can still go back and it's very much like the books and you're not missing out on anything. And then this, I'm like, I'm missing out on so much. And so rereading the book is so much more fun. Can you read while listening to music? I'm a huge music person. So... Yes, most of the time I can. One point of view or multiple? Hmm. It depends on the character. Like, most of the time I prefer it from the main character's point of view. Um, like in Divergent, the main uh, the character is Beatrice Pryor. Beatrice Pryor. She, um, it's from her point of view until the last book. And then it kind of flip-flops between her and another character. And I really liked that other character. And so it was cool seeing two points. But I do prefer it from one main character's point of view. Except then I go and read Shadowhunters. And it's from like a third-person point of view. And so I really liked that. Um, but most of the time I prefer it from the main character's point of view. Because that's just more fun. And it's easy to put yourself in that person's shoes and um, feel what they're feeling, think what they're thinking. Do you read a book in one day or over multiple days? Okay, I can read books in one setting. Like, Fall in Our Stars, I sat down and read it for three hours. I timed it. I read it in three hours flat. But like, I can do it over multiple days. But if it's a really good book, like this series to all the boys I loved before, oh my gosh, I finished that. Also, oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot about this series. The Selection series, so good. It was at my school library. I was like in sixth grade. I went to the library. I found the series. I got the first book, finished it in a day, went back to the library, got the second one, read it that day, went back, got the third one. So I read the series in five days. There are five books. So certain books I can read in one day, but sometimes if I'm just really bored or not feeling the book, I'll read it. It'll take me forever to read. So both to answer the question. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so much fun. So to kind of overview, I want to talk about all the books that I talked about because I really want you guys to check them out. I love them so much. I'm sure you guys will. So obviously, you know, I've read Harry Potter, Diversion, Hunger Games, Twilight. I've read John Green books. I've read Nicola Yoon books. Like those are my favorite kind of dystopian um, modern teen love story kind of a deal. And then I read the Selection series. I'm working on the Hobbit series right now. And there's another series I wanted to talk about because the movie for it just came out. It's called the Chaos Walking series. Uh, you've probably heard of the movie. It has Tom Holland who plays Spider-Man and Daisy Ridley who plays Rey in Star Wars as the two leads. I wanted to go see it but I found out it wasn't available on Netflix, Prime, Video, Hulu, any of those things. So my friends and I are currently trying to find a day where we can go and social distance distance and watch it at a drive-in theater uh, my friend and I read this series just before the school year started and it was really good it was not what I was expecting please go read the book before you watch the movie because one it'll give you a reason to be bad at the movie because it's nothing like the book <laughs> and two uh, the book is just incredible and I feel like it kind of ruins it if you read watch the movie before you read the book but that just depends on how your mind works. So that is it for this video. I love talking books with you guys. If you like videos like this and you want me to do more tags like Harry Potter tags or Divergent tags, more individualized kind of tags, then please leave a comment down below. Smash that like button and make sure you're subscribed. I'll catch you in the cloud dreamers.